In this video, let me consider one numerical on node analysis. For the network shown below, determine node voltages V1, V2, V3 and V4 using nodal analysis. This is the given circuit. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 nodes. We supposed to find the voltages at these nodes. So now let me consider the voltage at node 1 is say V1. Here voltage is V2 and here voltage is say V3 and here voltage is V4. That is let V1, V2, V3 and V4 are node voltages at nodes 1, 2, 3 and 4 respectively. So we know that we supposed to find these node voltages using node analysis. So we know that in node analysis, first we supposed to mark all branch currents. Let the current through this branch is say I1, the current through this branch is say I2, current through this branch is say I3, current through this branch is say I4. So now here we can observe that the 5 volt voltage source is directly connected to V2. Therefore, I can say voltage V2 is equal to 5 volt. We will call it as equation 1. Also, we can observe that in between node V1 and V3, a voltage source of 5 volt is directly connected. If voltage source is directly connected between two nodes, those two nodes are known as super nodes. So, here V1 and V3 nodes are super nodes. So in that case, first we have to analyze the super nodes. So here positive terminal is connected to V1, negative terminal is connected to V3. So I can write it as V1 minus V3 is equal to 5 volt. Call it as equation 2. So also we know that the algebraic sum of currents at super nodes is equal to 0. That is, let me write is algebraic sum of currents at super nodes is equal to 0. So now here I can say that at node V1, let me see the currents at node V1. Here current I1 is leaving. Let me consider incoming current as positive, outgoing current as negative. So here current I1 is leaving the node. Let it be minus I1. And here there is only one branch is connected to V1. And at node V3, here we can see that to node V3, two branches are connected. One is I4, one is 2M. Both are leaving. So I can write it as minus I4 and minus 2. As per this definition, algebraic sum of currents at super node is 0. So V1 and V3 are super nodes. The algebraic sum of current is equal to 0. It means minus I1 minus I4 minus 2 is equal to 0. Or I can write it as I1 plus I4 plus 2 is equal to 0. Or I can write it as minus 2 is equal to I1 plus I4. So now let me express the currents in terms of node voltages. So I can write it as minus 2 is equal to. So here we can see that I1 is nothing but V1 minus V2 divided by 10. That is the current I1 is flowing from V1 towards V2. So I can represent I1 in terms of voltages as I1 is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 10. Therefore, I can write it as minus 2 is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 10. That is V1 minus V2 divided by 10. Then we have plus I4 plus. So I4 is the current which is leaving node V3. So I4 is nothing but V3 divided by 2. That is V3 divided by 2. We have expressed all currents in terms of voltages. Let me simplify this. 
माइनस टू वी वन बाय टेन माइनस वी टू बाय टेन प्लस वी थ्री बाय टू दैट इज माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू सो वी वन इज दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन वी वन माइनस सो वी टू इज नथिंग बट फाइव वोट दैट इज फाइव बाय टेन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव v3 or i can write it as 5 by 10 is 0.5 if i take it on left side it will become minus 2 plus 0.5 is equal to 0.1 v1 plus 0.5 v3 so it is nothing but minus 1.5 is equal to 0.51 one v1 plus 0.5 v3 let me call it as equation a so here already we have analyzed node v2 node v1 and node v3 now left out node is v4 so now we supposed to apply kcl to node v4 that is apply kirchhoff's current law to node v4 so at node v4 current 2 amp is incoming current i2 is incoming current i3 is leaving so incoming current is equal to outgoing current that is i2 plus 2 is equal to i3 that is i2 plus 2 is equal to i3 so i2 can be expressed in terms of node voltage as v2 minus v4 divided by 5 v2 minus v4 divided by 5 plus v out 2 is equal to i3 is nothing but v4 divided by 2 v4 divided by 2 simplify this that is v2 by 5 minus v4 by 5 plus 2 let me take this v4 on left side that is v4 by 2 is equal to minus 2 so v2 by 5 v2 value is 5 volt so 5 by 5 is 1 minus 1 by 5 is 0.2 v4 minus 0.5 v4 is equal to minus 2 or i can write it as minus 2 minus 5 that is minus 0.7 v4 is equal to minus 3 or 0.7 v4 is equal to 3 or i can write v4 is equal to it gives 4.28 volts so now solving equation 2 and equation a that is solving equation 2 and equation a that is this one we get so we can solve this equation 2 and equation a directly using calculator we get v1 is equal to 1.66 volts and v out v3 is equal to minus 3.33 volts so therefore i can write all the voltage values as v1 is equal to 1.66 volt v2 is equal to 5 volt v3 is minus 3.33 volt and v4 is equal to 4.28 volts thus we found all node voltages using node analysis thank you for watching